Today's edition of Mac Voices is supported by Mac Voices Magazine, our free Flipboard magazine that brings you some of the best Mac, iPhone, and iPad productivity tips on the web. High in signal, low in noise, just like Mac Voices, Mac Voices Magazine includes information on how you can get more out of your Apple technology. Subscribe at macvoices.com slash magazine or search for Mac Voices Magazine on Flipboard. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for CES. This is Josh from Kodak to show us an 8 millimeter camera, Josh? You bet, Chuck. This is really exciting. This has been uh, just an amazing show for us. And this is our new Super 8 camera. I'm going to turn it around so everybody can see it. Um, and this is definitely a classic analog film camera. It takes Super 8, which is our smallest film stock. We've made it for 50 years. It's a beloved medium. A lot of filmmakers like J.J. Abrams, you know, shot their first film on Super 8. And uh, this camera, though, has some updates that are really made for the way people make, make content now. So we've got a couple of really great features. So first, we have a digital viewfinder. So it is an analog film camera. It is not recording digital film. But you can see what you're going to expose on the film beforehand. And it really lets you use the handle um, and just shoot in a way that's a lot more free than when you used to have to kind of look through the old-fashioned viewfinder. Um, we have a top-mounted handle. We call this our skateboard grip. But you can also get the classic Super 8 pistol grip and screw it into the tripod mount. Um, the other big feature is, is audio. So traditionally, it's been very difficult to capture audio onto Super 8. So now what we have is an external mic, and you can put other mic options in here. And what it does is it captures the audio, and it syncs it to an SD card in the back of the camera. And that way, you can marry the video and the audio up in post-production. So the camera is a huge announcement, but the other part of it is, like, I've probably gotten this question, like, no exaggeration, a thousand times at the show. How do I develop film these days? Like, where, where do I take film? And uh, our founder, George Eastman, used to say, you push the button and we do the rest. And we're going to go back to that model for this camera. So when you buy a cartridge, it will include processing, digital scan, and transfer to the cloud. So what you'll get is the cartridge, you shoot your film, send it to Kodak, we send you back an analog film reel, but also a password to download um, your files from the cloud so you can start to edit and post and share them right away. Okay, that's great because that answers one of my big questions. Um, but if you're sending me back a piece of analog film, a reel of analog film, what am I supposed to show that on? Are you developing a projector? Th this is the start. Like we're, we're not announcing any other products today, but there's been a real analog renaissance. Like People are excited about vinyl records. They're excited about the, the making and just kind of craft again. And we see this as, as the start of a Super 8 revival. So this is the beginning. There will be other products. There will be other things. And uh, there are projectors out on the market now that you can get. Um, but there will be more coming from Kodak on this for sure. And then the other thing that's uh, a lot of the reason people want analog is for archival purposes. Like film is one of the most reliable archival sources of, for media in the world still. I mean, film lasts for 100 years. So a lot of people do want to keep their memories and make sure that they have them in a physical form. Interesting, interesting. So if you're shooting to 8 millimeter film, then you're still, you're getting, by, by, by design, I guess, you're getting that 8 millimeter film look. That's right. Yep, absolutely. So, um, and it can be scanned, like right now there's, uh, there's places that are scanning uh, the 8 meter real film up to 5K. So it's going to be a really nice output you're going to get back but it's still going to have the grain, it's going to handle light and motion the way that film does. And uh, so that's that's one of the, the draws for people to it. Probably a bit more authentic too, than because we all have digital, or excuse me, uh, eight millimeter filters that we can apply to video, but it, it is a filter. It's not that, that genuine article. Right, that's right. It's not, it isn't the same. I mean, there, there definitely are things that, that are, are trying to emulate the look, but so far nobody's been able to emulate the look of film. A very interesting, interesting idea, interesting concept. What kind of pricing do we have for this, and what's the availability? Uh, it'll be out in Q4, like toward the holidays. Um, and the price, we don't have a firm uh, retail price yet, but it'll be around $1,000. And what do you anticipate the processing of the film being? Uh, and and for, for how much, I guess, I don't know how you measure it in, uh, in, in today's world. Is it how much time you, you shoot? You measure film in feet. Um, so, but uh, the... The processing and the pricing for that, we're still working through those details. More is going to come out about that and the whole workflow um, as, as we head through the year. Great. Uh, the website where folks can go to learn more? Kodak.com and follow all of our, our social channels. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, there's all kinds of information that's coming out about the camera and just so much excitement. I mean, we've had J.J. Abrams and Christopher Nolan and Steven Spielberg talking about it. 
we've had, I had a great interaction with like a father and son who came in the booth and the dad is like, this is a super e camera. And the son was just as excited yeah. to see it. So I, I, there's just been a, a, just an outpouring of excitement about it. So there's a lot to see on our social channels. Great. Josh, thanks so much for the time. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Folks, we'll have more from CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.